name is Amanda Goldsmith and I'm the Spotted Lanternfly Technician at the Lancaster County Conservation District. I'm back again here to show you how to set up the light duty version of the circle trap using a bag to collect the lanternflies instead of a jar. Like the medium duty circle trap, there are no sticky parts whatsoever which significantly reduces the chance of insects and larger animals like birds and bats from getting stuck. It also can be reused for multiple seasons and it's effective on both the nymph and adult stage of the spotted lantern fly. You can buy this online from Great Lakes IPM or you can make one yourself using the Penn State Extension Guide online. Let's get started. For the materials, you will need the screen trap body, the bag, the resealable black cable tie, and the trap top cylinder which are all included in the kit. Additionally, you will need some thumbtacks and some string. First, attach the trap top cylinder to the screen trap body. The tongue should be at the top of the trap, pointing downwards. This will keep the bag up. Next, put the bag over the trap top cylinder and secure the black cable around it. There is a button that you can press on the cable tie to release it, which makes it reusable as well. Then, measure out the extra twine and make sure it wraps entirely around the circumference of the tree, adding an extra foot or two to tie a knot. Then, weave the twine through the holes in the bottom of the trap. Next, grab side. both ends of the screen trap body, wrap it around the tree, and secure each end with push pins. Then tie a knot around the back. Make sure it is tight to the tree and secure the bottom of the mesh with thumbtacks so spotted lantern flies cannot get underneath it. I also put push pins throughout the trap so it stays tight to the tree. The manufacturer also recommends screwing a drywall screw through the plank. Remember, the mesh should overlap around the entire tree, including the back. For that reason, this trap works best on trees with a 9 inch diameter or smaller. You can also just double up with two circle traps per tree. Just make sure the mesh overlaps and the spotted lanternflies will be funneled into either side of the trap. You can see how I doubled up on traps from the medium duty circle trap video. Bend the wire so it puffs out the front of the trap and makes a circle or oval shape. Stick the wire into the mesh to keep it in place, and then you have a complete trap. When caring for the trap, change out the bag as needed. You can put a little water and soap into the bag before you change it out. This will kill the lantern flies so that they don't get out and escape. Make sure that you're checking your vehicle before you're leaving, and also check out some of the great Penn State Extension resources available online, and keep on squishing. Thank you.